Good morning. It's day 99 of my alternate day fasting routine. If I can go through today with zero calories, I'll take it. Compared to the last two days, I feel more confident that I will be able to do that today based on just how I felt waking up. I didn't feel empty. I actually, even though I ate a ton yesterday, went to bed feeling sort of empty, but I woke up that didn't feel like the case at all. So I'm on a morning walk. It looks like it's about to pour on me. So that'll be a good time. Um, probably just get a view of the ocean here, turn back, head home because I just rather not get caught up in the rain. Literally 30 seconds later and I have to take cover. So hopefully it'll go away soon. Okay, so just got done with my about four and a half mile walk. I'm now doing some weights, some compound movements. You know, I was just thinking a lot on my walk about how can I solve this current issue that I'm in with feeling a lot more hunger than I typically do. The most confusing part about it is that like I'm in the beginning of my cycle. If this is like the week before my cycle, I'd be like, okay, I understand. You know, it, 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 would, make, it would make so much more sense. So I'm like, you know what? Electrolytes. I'm gonna do my best to have as many electrolytes as possible this week. And I'm also going to start focusing a bit more on like, instead of putting off, like if I'm feeling hungry, just to eat and try to not continue fasting. I'm thinking if I maybe just start with like smaller meals throughout the day, that could potentially be more beneficial. Time will tell. I'll just have to try a few things and I'm hoping and I'm praying that <laughs> something works. Well, here we go again. I typically don't wash my hair two days in a row, but I thought, you know what, there's no better way to see how much hair I'm really losing. So, this hand's not that bad, but this hand over here. I mean, when I wash my hair in the past two days in a row, this would never happen, never, okay? And here we are. Just, um, it doesn't really show up in the camera like it looks like in person, but this is a lot of hair. Um, not as much as yesterday, but I just see hair everywhere and it fucking sucks. Okay, so for lunch here, I have a folio wrap, I have ground beef, uh, pulled pork, and some onions. I have a bunch of extra meat that I'm probably gonna eat throughout the day too. I cooked six ounces of the pulled pork, seven ounces of the onion, and then seven ounces of ground beef that needed to get eaten up. So I'll just be eating that throughout the day, maybe with some pork skin, maybe just in a bowl, maybe with an egg on top. We'll see. Okay, so this is the following day, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and go back and reflect on what went down yesterday. I guess I found more clarity in a sense yesterday. You know, I was just in a situation where it was like, I was noticing this extreme hunger at the same time that I was experiencing hair loss. And I'm just like, I guess this is my body telling me that it, it feels threatened, you know? It feels completely threatened. So. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna eat whatever I feel like eating. And I'm glad that I didn't go out and eat because I just have so much food at home, so I stayed home and I ate yesterday. But yesterday I felt like I made progress because the two previous days at about 3,500 calories was when I like was done eating for the day. And then yesterday was a 3,000 calorie day. And I actually felt way more satiated in the two days prior. So um, 3,016 calories, um, 18,500 steps. So what did I have? I had Brazil nuts, um, like keto-ish cookie dough. I'm still kind of like working on a like lower calorie cookie dough. So I was kind of messing around with that. Costco steak strips, cheese, plantain chips, chicharrones, dates, um, the meat that I had yesterday. So last time you saw I was, I was having that wrap for lunch. So um, I ate all that meat. I even put like an egg on top. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, I was, you know, trying more lower carb this month and I kind of just, it went through my mind like, you know what, maybe this is just a maintenance month. Maybe I just spend the entire month maintaining because honestly, I just like, it was so weird. I had made that video about like trust and I was quickly faced with the fact that because when I was like, oh, you know, it could take six years. It could take six months or it could take six years. I was like, no chance in hell this will take six years. It's probably gonna be more like a six month thing. And it, it just, it came so apparent to me that that necessarily is not the case. And so I'm just like frustrated because I felt like I was in a such good place and that I was gonna be making so much more progress this month. 
but you know maybe my body still just does not trust me and you know um, September will be two years that I started my 50 40 long fast so it's not like it was five years ago I mean it's in a sense still kind of fresh and then you just think about you know me not even doing that much fasting over the last 100 days and still losing hair and I'm just like Oh, you know, that's a sign that my body really is not trusting the, the nutrients that I'm giving it. Hard information to accept, that kind of just seems like the situation that's at hand. But I guess it is what it is. You know, the whole time I was eating, I kind of felt like my body was begging for something else. And I think I should have just went hard on and, eating, and ate a ton of sweet potatoes. I don't know why. I just kind of had this weird intuitive feeling like that was what my body wanted. But I was like, no, I just have so much food here. Like... Um, that I need to eat before you know it starts going bad that I'm just going to eat what's here but I truly feel like my body wants sweet potatoes so probably something that I need to um, need to get on my eating yesterday was like I ate more in the beginning of the day and then I just felt pretty much satisfied for the rest of the day so I had pretty much the bulk of my calories probably like before two o'clock between like noon and two moving forward I'm just like you know, I basically um, intermittent fast because I typically never eat breakfast and I don't start eating till like noon, but I'm just like, you know, maybe that's not the best thing for me. Maybe I should just eat smaller amounts throughout the entire day. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, finally felt full and satisfied, but just overall, my mood is just like, oh. I felt like I was making so much progress and then I experienced my hair falling out and I experienced like hunger that my body was telling me that it didn't trust. Like I said, you know, earlier, 170, my body has been there for a long period of time, so it might be a resistance point, but I don't know, we'll see. That's all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a life that you love.